welcome back to my cozy corner. Today is our third installment of the book series, finally. It took me a little bit longer to get through this book simply because there was quite a heavy mental health basis on it, as well as it was actually the first nonfiction that I can ever remember getting through. Normally with nonfiction books, it takes a lot for me to, to even want to pick one up. In the past, I've tried and I've failed miserably and I just, I don't tend to enjoy them. But Christina, who you saw last week, she thought I would absolutely love this book. So I said, you know what, I'll give it a shot. So this week's book and series is Clint Malarchuk's book called The Crazy Game. Now, many of you might not know who Clint Malarchuk is. If someone had said to me his name before this, I wouldn't have known who he was. Unless I had heard someone say that he was someone who had his throat slit by a hockey skate. I knew who that was and a lot of people also know who that person is. He was a goalie in the NHL and he had a really severe accident in the 1980s, I believe, I believe it was 89, if I'm remembering correctly. Obviously I was not born, I was born in 94, however, growing up in Canada and being with a family who was very interested in hockey, obviously I had some inkling and actually I think last year, last summer, I was watching YouTube videos and I was just watching like the worst sport injuries, I fell down that little YouTube rabbit hole and his was in there. Obviously I didn't know his name at the time, but I remembered his injury because it was freaking graphic. So I will start out with this just saying that this book covers a lot. It is very heavy, but it is written really well. His writing sucks people in. I loved it. It was really honest. It wasn't sugar-coated, but it wasn't graphic either. It was just the truth. So let's delve into this book, shall we? Before I get into any details of the book and reading the synopsis like I normally do, I want to just quickly cover if you're going to pick up this book, please be reminded that there are trigger warnings galore. So there's talks of suicide, there's talks of alcoholism, there's talks of abuse, there's talks of obviously graphic injury, there's talks of a lot of mental health which covers um, OCD, anxiety, depression, PTSD, there's talks of rehab, there's talks of substance abuse, there is talks of divorce, there is talks of trauma it's a lot of heavy heavy topics however there is a basis with hockey in this you don't need to know and understand hockey very much to appreciate this book obviously like I said I've grown up in a household that loved hockey growing up Saturday night hockey games were a thing in our house something that we all really enjoyed doing on Saturday nights was watching hockey night in Canada so that being said I still don't know a lot about hockey. I have a general basis, but pretty much anything that he talks about in this book, hockey related, is something that you could Google if you didn't understand. He name drops a lot of different hockey players that he played with or worked with, but again, you don't have to know them to recognize that they're hockey players or anything. He obviously comments on that, recognize a few names, even if you're not a hockey fan. So that being said, I'm going to read you the synopsis of The Crazy Game. No job in the world of sports is as intimidating, exhilarating, and stress-ridden as that of a hockey goaltender. Facing 100 mile an hour slap shots, having the entire game riding on your glove hand, standing on your head when necessary. These are the job requirements for those who want to be the best goalies in the world. Now, imagine doing that job while suffering from high anxiety, depression, and obsessive compulsive disorder and then nearly having your career cut short by a skate across your neck. The Crazy Game takes you deep into the troubled mind of Clint Malarchuk, former NHL goaltender for the Quebec Nordiques, Washington Capitals, and Buffalo Sabres. Even as a boy, Malarchuk faced such deep anxiety that he missed school and was eventually hospitalized. 
His OCD affected the way he trained, and he was known for keeping one of the most obsessive fitness regimes among NHL players. When his throat was slashed during a collision in the crease, he nearly died on the ice. Forever changed by the incident, Malarchuk later struggled mightily with depression and a dependence on alcohol that left a bullet in his head and nearly cost him his life. A sports book unlike any other, The Crazy Game is an unflinching portrait of a troubled soul who ultimately triumphs over his demons. What I liked about this book was for me, the chapters were quite short. They were short and sweet and honestly, I really enjoyed their um, discussions within the chapters. It didn't feel like it was dragging on. Like I said earlier, I loved his writing and I still love it. It feels really honest and really raw. And that's something that I never have been able to find in a nonfiction novel before. Obviously, like I said, there is a lot of heavy topics covered. However, it was really hard to put down. I didn't read through it as fast as I wanted to, but every time I sat down to read through it, I got sucked in and I just couldn't put the book down. It was a ride from start to finish. And at the very end, he comments, you know, writing this book was difficult. There was a lot of struggles that he had to overcome, obviously, but writing the book brought back a whole bunch of emotions that he had thought he'd overcome, which, is something that a lot of people face when they're dealing with mental health and overcoming things, um, particularly when they feel like they've overcome trauma. It'll hit you at the most awful times and really affect how you're functioning. And obviously, if you know me or if you've heard any of my other ramblings about mental health, you know that I'm very big into um, understanding and loving mental health and Reading this novel really made me think what I have been through and what what everybody goes through and how easy it is to hide things, which I think was really eye-opening. Recently, I have been dealing with a lot of my own um, mental health demons, as I like to put it sometimes, and this i feel like this book has actually helped me become comfortable reaching out um and realizing that it's it's a struggle but you have to push through honestly it's one of those books that i even if i didn't like hockey i think i would have enjoyed reading like mental health and you like reading people's stories, um, particularly re relating to a survival story, I think this is something that you could absolutely enjoy, whether you're a hockey fan or not. And just reading what he went through, I don't know how he was suc as successful as he was. And it really brought up the reminder that stigma is and has always been real. This book I was really skeptical at the beginning simply because, I, as I said, I haven't been able to read a nonfiction novel. But from the moment I picked it up, I was like, yeah, there were lines in it that resonated with me, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So if you are comfortable and safe and okay to read heavy trauma, heavy stories, please do because honestly, this book was such an eye-opener for me. It reminds me that people go through struggles very, very hiddenly. And there was a lot of shit that went on in his life that was not okay, both as his childhood and as he grew up as an adult. But you have to force yourself to overcome what you're feeling, ask for help and, and deal with it that way. And I think that this novel is something that anybody in the mental health field should be reading. Honestly, if I'm if I'm flat out like had to recommend a book for people who work in mental health, I think this is it. I really do. It's something that and, and same with people who are in the hockey world. I think some people in um, in sports they try to hide a lot of the mental aspect around it. It's getting better. Um, but obviously there are still a lot of ways that we can improve so if you're interested in sports i think that this is something that people would love so 
I know this is a super, super short video, but honestly, this book resonated with me in such a unique way that I, I, al I almost can't describe how I, how I feel, but it reminded me that as not only a mental health worker, but someone who struggles with her own mental health, it gets easier and you can overcome everything as long as you are able to find that support team and reach out for your help yourself because people can't read your mind but also that you know like it there are great days there are bad days and just to be prepared that there are random times that your trauma gets brought up and you don't even realize it but that you can continue to work through it so I literally can't stress it enough. This book is an amazing book. So please, 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 if you get the chance, read The Crazy Game by Clint Mullerchuk. It's, I honestly, I would give this a five out of five. I was sucked in, it was informative, and it was a ride from start to finish. It was heavy, but I never felt like it was too much. So those are my thoughts on The Crazy Game. And if you believe that it's something that you would like to read, please let me know. If you have read it, please let me know your thoughts on it. And I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying it or looking it up for yourself. As for that, if you like what you see, then please subscribe. Um, I am excited for the next book series review. However, it might be a while. Um, I have a lot of videos planned coming up, but I will try to get through the next book as quickly as I can and make sure that these ones come up and you guys get to enjoy. So stay tuned for more videos like this as well as other stuff, lifestyle, beauty. I will see you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.